Hello, uh, this is Anubhav and today in this video I will talk about Cisco Next Generation Firewall Scale-Out Design using AWS Network Load Balancer. Before I talk about this design, let me give you a quick overview of Cisco Next Generation Firewall and then I will talk about why there is a need of scale-out solution. And in the end, I'll show you a demo on AWS how NGFWE in scale-out design is deployed. So let's begin with our introduction here. If you look at this particular design, um, we do have NGFWE and FMC available in marketplace. NGFWE can be deployed as a routed device or a passive device where we forward traffic using ER span. But for this video, I'll specifically talk about routed mode. On the management side, we have uh, Firepower Management Center. You can use Firepower Management Center within AWS environment to manage your NGFWV or your on-premise Firepower Management Center to manage it. On the management side, we have public IP address to manage it. If you have uh, internet connectivity on your FMC and you want to manage it using public IP address, you can use that. And there's another version if you have uh, direct connect going towards your data center, you can use private IP address as well. On the use case at side, uh, side we have VPN, side to side VPN, RA VPN, firewall functionality, IPS, URL filtering, and AMP integration. In this slide, uh, just wanted to focus on number of interfaces. So we have four interfaces on this device starting from ETH0 through ETH3. ETH0 and ETH1 are dedicated for management purposes. ETH0 is management interface. ETH1 is diagnostics interface. ETH2 and 3 are uh, data interfaces. So I'll just focus on why do we need Cisco Next Generation scale out design today? So this virtual appliance is a one gig virtual appliance and if there is a need to add more firewalls to get more throughput, you can do that by using AWS uh, Network Load Balancer or Application Load Balancer. This design is not possible with ELB or Classic Load Balancer of AWS because ELB can forward traffic only to uh, primary interface of the device. But in our case, NGFWE ETH2 interface is external interface. So that's the non-primary interface. Using NLB and ALB, you can forward traffic to specific IP address in the target group. I'll talk about target group when I log into AWS portal. Uh, just to give you an example, if you have IP address 192.168.200.11 and .12 on the other device, you can uh, use that IP address at the target IP address so that traffic, when traffic is uh, received on NLB or ALB, it will forward that information to the target address. Again, um, on the demo side, we have this setup. I have uh, NLB. Uh, behind NLB, I have uh, Next Generation Firewall 1, Next Generation Firewall 2. And on NAT configuration side, uh, once traffic is received on uh, NGFWV, I'll do a destination NAT. And the destination NAT will have IP address of the web server. And on the source NAT, I will use inside interface address. Reason for doing this source NAT is I want traffic to come back to the same firewall. So advantage of this particular design is as and when you need more throughput, you can just add uh, another firewall in the same subnet with same configuration and then you can add it in, in your uh, external load balancer. An external load balancer can be of uh, uh, type NLB or ALB, application load balancer or network load balancer. And another important point to highlight is if there is a failure, uh, other firewalls in the backend pool will take load of the network. So only only uh, thing is connection is not stateful. If there is a failure, connection has to be reinitiated. So there is no connection sharing between these firewalls and configuration of each firewall is managed separately from Firepower Management Center. So you can deploy similar policies on all the firewalls added behind the net, net workload balancer. So I'll go ahead and quickly pause this video and I will show you how this setup is deployed in AWS environment. 
Okay, I'm now in AWS console. I'll straight away go to EC2 instances to show you all the instances I'm running in AWS environment. So for this demo purpose, I'm using four instances, FMC, Firepower Management Center. And using this FMC, I'm managing Firepower Threat Defense Virtual V1 and Virtual V2. These two firewalls are added behind NLB. And behind uh, these firewalls, I have a web server. Uh, now I'll quickly go and show you load balancer configuration. So I have deployed load balancer uh, here and if you look at load balancer type it is NLB, network load balancer. So now if you look at this description I have this DNS name. So any request coming to this uh, DNS address is load balance. So this uh, load balancer is an internet facing load balancer and it is providing services to only one availability zone at the moment. So uh, FTD v1 and FTD v2 are in the same availability zone. Now let me go to listener uh, information. I, I have specified if any traffic will come on port 80 and we need to forward that traffic to target group 01. Now I'll just click here to show you what is there in target group. In target group, I've specified IP address of FTD v1 external interface and FTD v2 external interface. So if you look at this particular uh, target group here, you can straight away go to target group here, uh, group from um, uh, this load balancer screen as well. Uh, so here you can see that I'm using port 80 protocol and target type is IP. So uh, I've specified if traffic is uh, received on that load balancer, forward it to one of the addresses available in the target group. So now if I go to targets, I have specified 200.11, which is external interface of FTD v1. Uh, 200.12 is external interface of FTD v2. And if you look at this information, those uh, uh, two firewalls are in the same availability zone and state status of these firewall is showing as healthy so these firewalls are reachable from a load balancer now i can look at the health check configuration as well um, uh, we need to specify protocol as http port 443 i'm using port 443 to monitor uh, firewalls um, so it is uh, um, constantly uh, checking existence of, uh, uh, of FTD v1 and FTD v2 based on uh, port 443. You can tweak these timers uh, depending upon your requirement. Uh, for this demo I have left everything at default. Now let me quickly go ahead and uh, show you my Firepower Management Center. This is uh, Firepower Management Center. In device management, I'll show you that I have three firewalls uh, added there, but for this demo purpose, I'm just using two firewalls, FTD v1 and FTD v2. I have external interface address assigned, internal interface, and I also have NAT configuration there. It is important to understand uh, NAT configuration because using the single line of NAT config, I am translating my destination uh, to IP address of the web server and source as um, uh, IP address of the inside interface. Reason for this NAT config is I want this traffic to come back to the firewall, to the original firewall from, from where first uh, packet is seen. So there, th today there is no way to make connections symmet symmetric uh, other than doing a source NAT translation. Now I can uh, go ahead and open internet browser and put in that DNS name that we saw in uh, in the uh, in the NLB uh, configuration. So I'm able to reach this uh, web server. And if you um, go inside uh, analysis and if you go under events, uh, you will see that traffic is passing through the device. Uh, when I say through the device, it is passing through one of the firewalls. Uh, so you can see this information here. Now, uh, as a test, what I can do is I can go inside uh, NLB, uh, inside EC2 instances, and I can shut down one of the firewalls there. Um, so even after shutting down this firewall, uh, I should be able to access uh, web server. Reason is I, ha I still have FTD v2 there. 
So FTD v2 will still provide services of firewall. It will provide you uh, URL filtering, AMP integration, IPS functionality, or firewalling. Reason is, uh, if I go inside um, my load balancer, um, I can see that um, I, under the target group, I have two firewalls. Uh, now, if I look at the targets, I can see, still see both targets are healthy reason is first firewall is still going down so it will take a couple of minutes i'll return to this screen i'll pause this video i'll return to the screen once uh, i will see that uh, first firewall is down yeah so within 30 seconds we are able to find that uh, ftdv1 is no longer reachable from nlb because we have um, um, initiated shutdown for that particular device and in the event of that uh, the device not reachable, we are still able to reach our web server uh, using um, FTD v2. So um, this is an example where you can add multiple firewalls behind NLB and NLB will uh, monitor your firewalls uh, on port 443. And in the event of failure, it will switch all your traffic to uh, another firewall available in the backend pool. Only difference is uh, there is no connection sharing between the devices. You have to reinitiate that connection. So in this video, I tried showcasing how to scale out our inbound connection uh, and uh, uh, using network load balancer. And I will also upload another video where I, I'll cover application load balancer. In this video, we uh, covered NLP, network load balancer. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.